join us. <laughs> like, so I'm not like here when we're talking. Not there. Exactly. Oh, that's so hard because I want to see what I look like. Well, you can look at yourself when I'm talking. <sighs> we should plan this out better. Best friend tag questions. Yay! I feel like everyone who does these is like 14. Yeah, not in their mid twenties. Twenties. I guess I'll just post. I'll, I'll ask the question and then we we'll both answer. <laughs> Is that how it works? I don't know. Okay. How and when Why, did we you have meet? to like introduce <laughs> ourselves? Oh. Okay, everyone. Um, this is Andrea. Hi. My best friend. And we've been wanting to do a video for a while. Yeah. Together. And so this seems like a perfect opportunity. We're going to do the best friends tag. And I have a little disclaimer. Uh, My son is here. <laughs> and he's watching a YouTube video and in this area. Yes, over here. So if he ends up making noise or whatever. I'm sorry. We're not sorry. But just a little bit because he's kind of annoying. <laughs> So uh, we don't really fully comprehend the rules of the best friend tag. So we're just going to make it up yeah. as we go. And if anything, you'll get to know both of us a little bit better. Yay! So I'll ask the questions, and then I guess we both just answer. Okay. okay. How and when did you meet? So I was four. And I was five. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, 1994? Four. Okay. Yeah. Girl Scouts. Kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so we've been in Girl Scouts, well, we were in Girl Scouts our whole lives. So from the very beginning of Daisy's in kindergarten to, um, you know, 13 years later when we're seniors in high school. I'm still a Girl Scout. Oh, yeah, it's Girl Scout for life, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, you have to, like, be a lifetime member, but because my daughter's a Girl Scout, I have to register, so I'm a Girl mm. Scout. I want to be a Girl Scout. Yeah, it's just, like, 30 bucks a year. Oh, I don't know if I want to be a Girl Scout. You're a Girl Scout in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> the guy just laughed. Oh. And then shot us a dirty look. Jeez. Okay, what's your favorite memory together? I feel like this is like another like Girl Scout thing. Yeah. I just feel like whenever we went camping as Girl Scouts when we were younger, we always yeah. just had like a really good time. I have a specific memory and it was Girl Scouts camping, but I don't know if it was you. <laughs> I'm pretty, like I know you were there, but I don't remember like what your role was in the day, but I remember we went to Camp Sherman, which is like a Girl Scout camp here in Southern California. and. It wasn't like during regular camping season. It was um, we were there to clean up. Oh, like I do remember. Year, that. Do you remember? Like, right? Uh -huh. And so there was this. I think I, think I know. There was this <laughs> one Girl Scout who's also a really close friend of mine, Laura, and she had a boyfriend at the time, and nobody else did. And she was obsessed with talking to him. And my mom is really was was like a co-leader, and she's really strict on like the no cell phone rule. And I remember. I think you were chewing gum. Someone was chewing gum. Uh -huh. And you guys were on the hill and one of you, you ran towards Laura because you had gum in your mouth and you had the cell phone and you both weren't supposed to be doing either. One of them had a cell phone, one of them had the gum and my mom catches both of you and you guys just bolt up the hill. And I just remember thinking like, yeah, these are my best friends. They are insane. <laughs> Yeah, I vaguely remember that. I think in general, like, Girl Scouts was just the best memories. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have memories with you after, but they're just, like, my favorite memories after are more just, like, you and I talking. It's not, like, really doing anything specific. It's just, right. in general, hanging out. But, yeah, Girl Scouts, for sure. Yeah. Is that your favorite memory with me? Um, I want to include another memory. Okay. Uh, we were in high school and we were camping. I don't understand why we were doing this while we were camping. And I decided that I wanted bangs. <gasps> and you cut my bangs. Yes, and it was horrible. <laughs> and they were like this short. So I just like, it was, you ruined my hair. <laughs> but I mean, it didn't matter. I didn't care. I just, you You're know, like, go out. But then they grew out and yeah. you rocked the bangs. No, I mean. Like that's no. what started her love yeah. with bangs. Yeah. And that's probably why she's a perfectionist. When it comes to her bangs? 
Yeah, no, because I, honestly, I messed them up really bad. I honestly was gonna tell you, like, if my bangs look funky, let me know. <laughs> no, they look good. If I have anything in my teeth, let me know. No, you're good. <laughs> Describe each other in one word. Positivity. You think I'm a positive person? Yeah, I do. Um, and despite like crappy things that happen to an individual, but specifically you, like, yeah. you know, really are good at overcoming them. Hmm. I would say tall. No. <laughs> That's how my daughter would describe me. Um, I would say... I don't know if I could just break it down to one word. A multiple words. Yeah, like I think as adults, the base of our friendship a lot has been our love of like our religion. Mm -hmm. And I want to say like Christ-like, but not, I don't know, like a good Christian. Mm -hmm. and Christian, I guess would be the word. And I feel like you and your family really as a whole, like, inspires me to, like, to just be a better person. Like, you guys, I think across the board, you guys just are very accepting and you try to live your life with, like, the Christian mindset or more specifically a Catholic, like, mind and heart. And that's, like, really important to me and I feel like that's, when I think of you, that's what I think of because you could have reacted in totally different ways to so many things that have happened but you choose to be like there's a purpose for this you know mm -hmm. and I think that in turn has helped me be a more positive person so I hope that's not corny Aww, but so I would mushy. say yeah <laughs> and Mikhail just got off the bed so and yeah <laughs> Mikhail is joining us now but I'll block at the view sorry <laughs> Mikhail what is your dream job to be a blogger, yeah. duh! Uh, to blog full time, be a content creator full time, um, travel full time, and just for me, it. Oh wait, I'm talking about you. I'm not supposed to be talking about myself. No, no, yeah, you can. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think right. we're doing this wrong, so it's fine. We'll just answer the questions. Yeah. Um, I want to create content full time and it primarily will be or is about veganism and with that vegan travel and beauty and just lifestyle because I, I, I just want to share the vegan message by just being myself I don't necessarily need to I don't want to use the word preachy but I'm gonna use it I don't want to preach towards anybody I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable you want to like lead by example. Exactly. So I mean with the vegan nachos, I think that that was just like, not like leading by example, but just saying like, this is the vegan option, you know? Yeah. I would say the same, but not vegan. Just like being a mommy and mm -hmm. being a young mom and like, I think there's a stigma that's being a young mom, you're doomed or it's a bad thing. And I think that mom bloggers are really changing that because they're kind of providing an income for themselves and getting to be present for their kids and it's kind of the best of both worlds mm -hmm. and that's really what I that would be my ideal dream job yeah and then I mean also you're a very talented DIYer so mm -hmm. yeah and I think a big thing is like I always and I know you must get it all the time is like oh my god I wish I was crafty or I wish like I could do that and it's like you can you just have to choose to do it mm -hmm. you know Definitely. so I it's guess sending that message of like you can do this, you don't have to like know how to sew, like you don't have to, you can learn all these things and this is how I did it and I think spreading that message of like, you can be a Pinterest mom without being a Pinterest mom, you know, yeah. like you can do all those things, um, yeah, I think more people need that reinforcement or you know, that like reassurance. I guess yeah, it's word. just a matter of where you spend your energy. Mm -hmm. So if it is something that's very valuable to you, then you should be spending your energy doing that. What's your favorite makeup brand? I would say my favorite makeup... Wait, go ahead, you answer first. Okay, I think your favorite makeup <laughs> brand, brand is e.l.f. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I mean, I just got Too Faced makeup for Christmas this year, and I've always wanted to try their makeup. It's a cruelty-free, vegan option makeup company. So, with a lot of vegan options, so I am trying their lipstick and their blush and their eyeshadow. I mean, I mascara I nothing mascara yeah and I've been really liking it so I think that I might fall in love with, with your company. face yeah what do you think is my favorite brand uh, I don't know because the way your 
makeup is like changing, right? Yeah. I was gonna say MAC, but you- Yeah, MAC has always been my number one, like my go-to, but I've been more interested in finding things that are cruelty-free and really learning the difference between cruelty-free and vegan and learning what's in my makeup. So I would say as of right now- And it's still working! Ah. So yeah, I don't currently have a favorite makeup brand. Because I don't- so I knew the answer, it's yeah. nothing. <laughs> I because think that both I'm of learning us, new yeah, things. Yeah. Both of us are just trying to expose ourselves as much as possible to cruelty free beauty. Um, and so there's so many small businesses and so many types of things to explore. And yeah, I feel like there really isn't like one brand that has everything that I like mm -hmm. that is cruelty free. So I really love Too Faced. And like Kat Von D is now going to be fully vegan and. And she's cruelty free. Yeah, so I don't know, it's a process. Ask me this in a year. What is something that annoys you about me? I know, I'm never on time. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, you were not, you weren't on time. No, but I, I got called into work, so. But that's the story of my life, something always happens. But I make it, just not on time. <laughs> what about you for me? I think sometimes she's really positive, <laughs> and I just want to be really negative. And so that's hard sometimes, like, I just want to wallow, and she's like, no, you're not going to wallow, you're going to get up and move on with your life. And at the moment, it's annoying, but then I'm very grateful for it. Aww. I'm annoying in a good way. Yeah. If you could go anywhere in the world together, what would it be? <gasps> Barcelona. <laughs> right? Well, I was actually thinking Mexico, because the last time we oh, yeah. talked about, like, just going to Mexico. Oh, and we talked about Canada. Yeah. Just like the other day, and um, you're like, no, not gonna happen. Four big but. dreamers. <laughs> yeah, for sure Mexico is really attainable because it's like three hours away. Mm -hmm. And you've been there before, so. And I speak the language fluently. So show me something. Okay. But you know, yeah, Barcelona. That yeah. Too. <laughs> That's number one. But Mexico is more attainable. What is your favorite inside joke? Mm. Yes! <laughs> right? <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. I feel like that's the only inside joke we have. I know, right? We don't have a lot of inside so jokes. So we would say yas a lot before yes. it like became a thing. Oh, that's true. I just, for some reason, whenever I hear yas, I hear Caitlin saying Yeah, yas. because of Caitlin, oh, okay. so we would text oh, yeah. it to each other. Yeah. Yas. Yeah. <laughs> yas, queen. <laughs> Who takes longer to get ready? Me, for sure. <laughs> because I'm getting three little people ready, or two little yeah. people plus myself. Yeah. What's your favorite season? Uh, your favorite season is fall. And your my favorite season, season is summer. Yeah. yeah. Because my birthday is in the fall and hers is in, in the, the summer. summer. Uh, favorite song? Your favorite song. Uh, can I pass? Yeah, I passed you. Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, was it a Weezer song? Island in the Sun. No? I mean, it could quite possibly be a Weezer song, but no, not Island in the Sun. I would say El Scorcho. I'll link it below. Mm. I mean, I'm sure you've heard it. Yeah, I just like really old music, so I would say Saboremi, which is well, a really nice song. We'll link it below. Yeah. <laughs> what is it like being upset, being best friends with someone who is obsessed with YouTube? I think it's very, awesome! Um, yeah. Um, Christina's very much like a content creator as far as like she makes YouTube videos, and I just um, watch a lot of content consumer yeah um, I'd like to make videos but I just currently don't have the time for it it's fun because we like a lot of the same people and yeah. see I've always I've liked YouTube since like we graduated high school of seven and I always felt like it was this private thing like I was ashamed to tell anybody that like I loved and then we re we talked about it about two years ago, and I was like, oh, I'm watching a Vlogmas video, and she was like, you know what Vlogmas is? Yeah. And that kind of just opened, like, our obsession up to each other, which is pretty neat. Yeah, we've noticed that we're subscribed to a lot of the same people, Yeah. and, like, I think there's, like, times where I would tell her about someone, and she's like, yeah, I already know, and then vice versa. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's neat. And it's neat to find like new people and discover them at the same time. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Heels or flats? Flats. 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 I don't like heels. I don't either. They limit my well, mobility. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Being mobile is kind important. of a priority. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned this 
recently on YouTube, but I'm six feet tall. Yeah. So I've never felt inclined to wear heels. Um, you know, in the last like five or ten years, like heels have shown up in my wardrobe. Not I've purchased them, but like I hardly ever wear them. <laughs> Shoe fairy came and brought her <laughs> shoes. That'd be awesome. <laughs> pants or dresses? Dresses. And dresses. You pants. Pants. <laughs> Hence what we're wearing today. Yeah. Maxi dresses to be specific. Favorite animal? Cat. Me? No. Polar bear. Yeah, I watch your videos. <laughs> that, that, that's true. <laughs> Dang, you didn't make videos. <laughs> Can I have a hint? Yeah, it's what I said yours was. Cat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Comedy, horror, or chick flick? Chick flick. Chick flick, for sure. Blackberry or iPhone? I, I think it should be Android or iPhone. Yeah. And I guess iPhone now. Yeah, I'm switching to iPhone. My Android is a POS. So iPhone, obviously, for you. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite movie? What do you think my favorite movie is? I know, this is what I'm supposed to be thinking about. A Marilyn Monroe movie! No. Oh, darn. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> I don't even, I'm trying to even establish a favorite movie for myself. I mean, my favorite movie is Wizard of Oz. Hmm. I can't even think of your favorite movie. Disney movie? No, I mean, I used to for years, and I guess, I guess I'm going to do this again. I always say Ocean's Eleven, like I really enjoyed it. <gasps> I've never yeah. seen that. We should watch it. Yeah. What is something weird that you eat? Christina eats fake cheese. I think that's weird. <laughs> you eat it too. Um, I eat real cheese. Christina thinks that's weird. <laughs> Stop. That's a better shot. Yes. The frame keeps on improving as we go along. Sorry, guys. Okay. You eat Mexican cuisine that can be weird? Yeah, like menu though. Yeah. It's really weird. Like animal parts. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would say the weirdest like vegan thing is like tempeh. Mm -hmm. I think it's weird but I mean I think oh. it's just weird to me but I mean it's not like weird in general. Exactly. Yeah. And it's not very common either so that can add to its weirdness. Do we have anything matching? Girl Scout uniforms? <laughs> <laughs> All of them? Yeah. Because with Girl Scouts, there's multiple levels. Mm -hmm. So, Daisies, Brownies, Juniors, Seniors? Four? No. I said it there's wrong. There's Daisies, <laughs> Brownies, Juniors, Cadets, cadets and seniors. And seniors. That's what I was missing, Cadets. Because I don't yeah. even think we were Cadets for very long. I think it's like a two-year thing. Oh. When we wore Five green. Five things. Cadetorama? Yeah. And we also probably have like shirts from elementary school. Well, we also went to school together the whole time. Yeah. So we probably um, have like shirts <laughs> that are the same. Yeah, a lot of matching clothes from our youth. I don't think any is adults. What's your favorite TV show? For some reason, the first thing that popped into my head was Nashville, but that's not even something I'm, you watch. I've huh? never even seen it. God, why did that happen? Because I like country music. Yeah, it was like something country maybe? No. I don't watch a lot of TV. Me neither. Favorite? I watch YouTube, duh! Yeah, currently my favorite, um, my favorite TV show that's on actual TV would be The Big Bang Theory. Mm. And then my favorite regular TV would be, um, the one when they're in prison, Netflix. Oh, Orange is the New Black. Black. Oh yeah. I yeah. love Orange is the New Black. I don't know what your favorite would be. I don't think you watch a ton of TV. Mm -mm. In regards to like shows that I've like binge watched that I've really enjoyed in like this past year have been Daredevil, Orange is the New Black, and How I Met Your Mother. Oh yeah. It's a pretty good show. Did you see the end of How I Met Your Mother? Uh -huh. Horrible, right? <laughs> did you like the end it was, of it? It's not that I didn't, it's, I didn't like no. it or dislike it, it did nothing for me. If your house was burning down and your entire family was sure to be okay. I was like, your children, okay. What would you say then why? Yeah, no. It has to be not your computer or camera. Did you just add that disclaimer? Yeah. <laughs> My Girl Scout uniform. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the theme of the video. I guess we couldn't really answer this for each other, but like personally, um, my grandfather passed away when I was like seven or eight. And I have his one of his sweaters that'd probably be the only thing that's really because you can't replace that you know like if my kids were for sure safe and so were my animals that'd be it i'd grab a donut i'm just kidding 
Like, not just like any donut, but like this donut. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I don't want to kind of steal, not steal, but have a very similar answer, but um, my grandmother passed away in 2015, so I would take one of the items that was given to me. One of her possessions. I think that's like, yeah, I think that's what most people would try to do. Yeah. Just yeah. something that has sem sentimental value, because things are just things. And so when it has sentimental value, and you know, it's more than just a thing, it has memories attached yeah. to it. Yeah, I think that would be my pr priority, is just something that can't be replaced. Mm -hmm. That's actually the last question. <laughs> well, it is highly likely that Andrea and I will film another video together, Yay. so we hope you enjoy this one. Feel and free to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and I, f I hope you learned more about Christina. Yeah, and learned about Andrea. Yeah. Because she'll be around. Forever. She's going <laughs> to follow me to Barcelona. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to, me and my family, we're just going to be like little puppies <laughs> and follow. That's like the end goal. It's for Christina to move to Europe and then for me to come. Mm -hmm. And move my whole family. Yeah. Just so you guys know, I'm so. trying to move to Europe. Oh, is that not something you've said? <laughs> I mean, I've always said that I'm going to continue to travel. I don't know if I've necessarily said that I am going to live in Europe, but I mean, that's ultimately the goal. It is going to happen. Knowledge to your brain. <laughs> soon. It'll happen soon. I hope so, yeah. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Yeah, we have to get used to these outro situations. So yeah. Um, you don't have like a... A this? A like... Ba 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 Bye! I need to have a blah 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 blah. Yeah, I do need to get a blah 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 blah. You're right. Insert end card. Blah 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 blah! Yeah. There you go. Yeah, right. <laughs>